booze and banter. Hi, Frank. Hey, Roman. How are you? Good. And Carlos is here. Let's say hi to him. Yeah. Hi, Carlos. <laughs> yes, how you doing? <laughs> Returning so, Carlos. Carlos was one of our very first guests. I think Carlos is probably our biggest in-country and out-of-country ambassador. Yes, for sure. You know, all the shit you paste around. and Yeah. It's not shit. It's high-quality <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well, Carlos, where were you recently um, applying your ambassador duties? I was in Puerto Rico for 10 days, uh, mainly uh, San Juan, where I spread the word, the gospel of uh, prison banter. <laughs> That's right. Preach <laughs> the gospel. <laughs> and you brought some delicious beer. Yes. Um, so. That was probably uh, Puerto Rico's like biggest uh, brewery. It's uh, Ocean Lab Brewing. It's right on the water, which is... Uh, this is a beautiful setting. The whole, the whole place is amazing. Well, <clears throat> Frank, can you open yeah. one of the beers and pour for us? And They're both Ocean City? Ocean Lab. O Ocean Lab. Are they both of them? Uh, yeah, both of them. Okay. And I will, excuse me, read about this, guys. Ocean Lab Brewing Company. Ocean Lab Brewing is family-owned craft brewery located in Isla Verde, Puerto Rico. Did I say it right? Isla Verde. But yeah. Isla, okay. Isla Verde, Puerto Rico which was founded in 2017 by a group of beer enthusiasts. The brewery produces a ver variety of craft beers, including IPAs, stouts, and seasonal offerings. The founders of Ocean Lab Brewery has had a passion for craft beer and were inspired by the bur burgeon burgeoning? Bur burgeoning? Burgeoning? Yeah, growing. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> like your dick is burgeoning? Every day. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it later. Craft beer scene in the United States. They wanted to bring the same level of quality and creativity to Puerto Rico and create a destination of beer lovers on the island. Since its founding, Ocean Lab Brewery has gained a reputation for producing high quality, innovative craft beers and has won several awards at beer competitions in Puerto Rico and beyond. Cool. Um, Look at the color of this. There's, there's a photo of two guys on here, but you said the the bar beer tender said that uh, was it a beer tender or a bartender? I was a waiter. I was a waiter. Yeah, well, Sorry. he he told me it was two brothers that that two brothers uh, that opened it up, and one focused on the brewing, the other focused on the like the restaurant and the mm -hmm. business. So maybe that's the two brothers. There's a photo of them here. Our beer here at Ocean Lab. We love experimenting with different flavors. Before I read that, let's check out this flavor. What is this? Blood orange? Yes. Yeah, look at the color of this thing, all right? Did you pour some for Carlos? No, he said he didn't want any. You want no, some? No, I'm good. It's for you guys. He said he didn't want any. I, I mean, you know what? You could baby bird it. I'll put it in my mouth. I'll spill it in yours. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I still got this. this got, okay. I'm well, cheers with us. Cheers. And thank you. And thank you. Smell this. Or just gulp it, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just had enough of you. Applications are still open. <laughs> to replace you. <laughs> you. <laughs> no, you. This is Carlos's interview, by the way. I like this. <laughs> this is Carlos's interview to replace Roman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good, huh? I mean, I taste like orange peel, right? And not just any orange peel, a blood orange. This says it's, um. so does it tell you what this, are you looking at the information for the beer? Yeah, pulling it up right now. Does it tell you what the ABV is? I will tell you everything that it provides me. I'll tell you what the can tells me, or the, the bottle. It says 5.5 .5 to 6.6. .6. Yes. So that's what it says. Where are we? It's in, in between. Okay, cool. Our popular blood orange blonde, also known as Bob, is a light and crisp infused formulation to delight the Puerto Rican craft beer enthusiasts. Its, its characteristics flavor is uh, achieved by using an Organic blood orange infusion sourced from the best farms of California. Enjoy and refresh your palate with the wave of flavor. ABV 5.0 to 6.0. That is, that's not what this fucking bottle says. It says 5.5 to 6.6. Okay. <laughs> fake, <laughs> fake news. <laughs> you can get a six pack or a 24 pack. Regardless, this is really good, though. Also, only available in Puerto Rico. Mm. So, yeah, so uh, they're working on uh, 
a brewery inland, and it's supposed to be a little bit bigger than than, than the one they have at the at the Ocean Lab, and that one is the plan is for them to uh, export it out to uh, like stateside. Mm. Um, they didn't tell me like exactly where um, in the U.S., uh, but I, I'm assuming like Florida first, maybe, and then you know take it further from there. Is this on a resort where you are now? Um, no, this was just um, it was like down maybe a mile from where all the hotels are. Yep, yep. Uh, so it, it legit was like walking distance for us, mm. you know, worst case scenario. I mean, what a great setup for these things. Like if, if you get that mile line. away, walking distance for us. So a walking of mile there, getting drunk and walking a mile back. It's no big deal. So you have to have a body like a god, like all of us. to be fit. Yeah. yeah. You have to be so, chiseled like me. So FYI, n- know your physical abilities before you decide to walk. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or get a scooter. <laughs> I'll get a scooter. <laughs> Is there Uber? Yes. So here's the thing about the Uber there was like when we went there from the hotel, it was maybe like, I don't know, like 15 bucks. But then when we were leaving, it was anywhere from like 70 to oh, $100. Oh, yeah. Dollars the surge. To leave. Hold on yeah. a second. The surge. 15, one, five to go there. I think 15 or 30, something okay. like that. And then 70 back? 70 to 100. Holy shit. So we Here's started. The surge. So my girlfriend and I, we started walking back. And then we were like legit, like watching like the Uber prices lowering, as you lowering, want. lowering. Like it's like, like, like when you stand on the scale and you start farting, <laughs> and if you keep you farting, wait. the weight goes down. <laughs> U.S. This is U.S. dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but it's fifteen dollars to go a mile. Yeah. Wow. Or twenty or something. You know why? Because they know the fucking all tourists are there. Yeah. 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 And you then know. when you're shit faced, you don't care. Exactly. You're gonna exactly. fucking pay. Yeah. yeah but then I'm vomiting your fucking Uber. For, that's why it's hundred dollars. Probably worth it. It's fine. Yeah, because for five dollars they can get a detail. I'll shat upon your back seat. You gonna what? Shat upon your back seat. Shat upon. Do I sound like British? <laughs> no. No. What do you think of this? I love it. So we've had a blood I orange. Wish he brought more. I think we had a blood orange something else. Maybe <laughs> Lunkenheimer. Yes. But um, yeah. this is this is definitely more intense. This yeah. is good. I like it. So uh, one thing I noticed. Uh, being used to like drinking like the, the the heavier IPAs from the Northeast and then going down there is a, I think that you taste like more fruit and it's like a lighter, crisper taste. Kind of like, you know, you're on a, on an island, you know, near the ocean. It's like a different vibe. So you're like, saying IPAs from here and IPAs there is like I, more fruitier flavor, like more citrusy or? A little bit more citrusy, uh, a little bit lighter, mm-hmm. kind of like, um, like when you're drinking like a Kolsch. Yeah, like a nice cold Kolsch. Yeah, yeah. As maybe because like, of like the tropical weather. I think the weather and like, one too, yes, too exactly. hoppy. You know, yeah. like in well, summertime, you, you don't want to drink like a like a double IPA on a, on a hot day. Yeah, on a hot day, you want to put them yeah. down. Yeah, and 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 you know, people that live down there are probably used to these fruity. Uh, yeah, like more flavors, guava, right, like right. mango, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Which is all part of the dragon juice yeah. recipe. But it, it's smart. Like if I own the business and I wanted people to keep drinking my IPAs when it's hot out, I'd, I'd keep it light. Definitely, yep. Yeah. And, and and cold for sure. This yeah. is good and delicious. The yeah. perfect formula. It's like us, like <laughs> hot, cold, and delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sexy. He's n- no personality. He's got no heart, and I taste cold, really good. No heart, no feelings, and, and I taste good. He tastes good. <laughs> Says who? I don't know. I don't know where these fucking things come up. They just pop in there. Jeff, the teabag? The teabag, the teabag Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> yeah, we have a caller, a listener, who's earned the title of Teabag Jeff. Teabag Jeff? He says shit. I'm going to fucking teabag you. I <laughs> teabag Jeff. So I don't know how it, <laughs> it somehow happens. But. And he says, I'll, I'll, I'll wear that moniker with pride. He called in the other day to yeah. bust my balls because I said something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that was alcohol-induced. That's fine. But yeah, thank you for this, Carlos. This, yeah. is, this is really good, and it's 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 just like you described. I mean, you, the flavor's great, but it's um, and I don't know what it's very crisp, but I don't know yeah. what makes it crisp. Like I don't know if if it's something in the process or how cold it is or whatever. But this is this is really good. Yeah, you know, dangerous. Yeah, da- well, dangerous. It, it's like it kind of reminds me of that um that beer we had the Orange Crush from uh. Yeah. Oh, young yeah, heart. Yeah. 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 Yep. But I mean, that was really that. super fruity. Yeah, it was with you. It was really super fruity. But this, I mean, this is a little different. But it's um, it's good. I like it was this. like orange, 
It was like concentrated Kool Aid with alcohol in it. Right. And, and it was carbonated. I mean, it, it was good. And, you know, I actually emailed them and they never got back to me. So we got to find someone going to Hershey so they can bring us some of that back. But yeah, we got to do that for Carlos. Uh-huh. So my favorite one there is uh, if you can pull it up, it's the yeah. uh, Ocean Blue or the Blue Ocean. Ocean Blue. He's even wearing the shirt to represent right it. Right here. <laughs> Excuse me. That, so that one, uh, um, it has like a little uh, hint of like blueberry. And it kind of reminds me of, um, if you ever had like Alcaville, it makes a really tasty yeah. um, IPA with like a, like a hint of blueberry. Mm-hmm. And it was amazing. I, I had many of those and I didn't want to. <laughs> many. Have, I didn't want to. We, we actually, and Alicia and I actually ended up going back the next day again. For this so, beer. Yeah. So when you have many, Uber doesn't fucking matter at that point. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh. You know what makes good flavor beers? Long Trail. Long Trail, yep. Yeah. Yeah. It says blue is one of our most refreshing beers. Mm, that's why. Perfect for a sunny day. It has a red orange is that carnelian one? color ac- accentuated by the skin of the blueberries. Ah, that's why. Yeah. Using enhanced uh, fruitness. It's lightly sweet and surprisingly creamy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What were those words? What'd you say? Took you long. What'd you say? Took you too long. I, no, I was reading that and I was like, this shit. Sales. Someone's talking right now. I hear it, but it sounds like the, the Charlie Brown you, teacher, like wong wong wong. You just heard sweet and creamy. <laughs> but was there another word? It's sweet and, and cre- uh, surprisingly creamy. Okay, so you be sweet, surprisingly, I'll be creamy. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a trio all the time. But there's three of us here. A uh, one person can be sweet and surprisingly creamy. Yeah, but then you leave someone out, like the fat kid in gym class. Yeah, I'm leaving both of you out. Or the fat kids in gym class? Yeah. Okay. I don't pick you. ABV 5.5 and 6.5. <laughs> why, we why don't do, have that here. Why but, do they do that? Like, why is there a range? I don't know. I mean, I don't care, but... Maybe... Especially if they fucking send us some more bobs. Maybe it depends on what time of the day you're drinking. <laughs> yeah, that could be. So what is this? This isn't an IPA, is it? No. No, you're ta- yeah, you're talking about IPA. This is an IPA. Does it say what that is? No. Uh, this a, that's a blonde ale, right? Blonde, yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh, oh that's yeah. right. Yep, yeah, yep. Bob. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Well, yeah. Can this, you open that? I, I can. Please. Do. So you're asking me? Like, yeah. okay. I mean, I didn't know. Like, Would you please open it? Yeah, I don't know if you're like, are your capabilities such that you can open a bottle? Yes, they are, Rowan. <laughs> Would you like me to open a bottle? One of your few talents? M- many talents. <laughs> You wait, we have more of these, and you're going to see how much talent my mouth has. No, no, that's not what I meant. Oh, sorry. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> tilt the glass. No, you tilt the glass. Fucking amateur. No. Right, I'm, Carlos? I'm a certified beer server. Carlos, who pours beer like that? Did you know that, Carlos? I'm a certified beer server. Hey, really? Yeah. Yeah, he, he got his certification. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys are fucked up. Mine's fine. Yeah. <laughs> He's working towards his Cicerone. I, I really Level haven't one. done anything. Oh, okay. I haven't done anything further than that. Sorry about that. But no, it's, it's all good. if we're he would spend this. more time on the toilet, um, he would uh, be able to study more. Clearly, Frank likes giving head. So I mean, he likes head a lot. <laughs> he likes a lot of head. Let's not know. <laughs> Our last episode, Roman was talking about when we, when we woke up together with the beard vet coffee. <laughs> 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 all right, I completely fucked all those up. So cool. We have three fucked up glasses of beer right now. All right, so this this stuff we're drinking now is a hop diver. Hop diver. Cheers. Ooh, it's like a three way. Oh yeah. It is L- different IPA. A L- little bit heavier, but not. Yeah, but you definitely taste the creaminess. Yeah, like you do. Not only in the head, like you taste it in the beer. Carlos, knock it off. You, we don't talk dirty on this fucking podcast. Lang- language. <laughs> Almost like a caramel. Do you, do you taste like a like a hint of... Like burnt burn caramel or something? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Creamy. Let's, let's see. Our divers person, personally pick and delivery, deliver the hops that create Hop Diver, a hazy double IPA with bold tropical aromas. Bitterness and flavors of... Grapefruit, passion fruit, uh, and more. <laughs> don't worry about the rest. Yeah, no, just, just, just don't worry about like it. Those, that's like the ingredients, like, you know, there's yeah. water and flour and everything like, else. Hey, this is the only 
one so far out of these two or three that I read about. The ABV is 7.5. Yeah, I was going to say double IPA. No range. It's just... This is good. So I taste grapefruit. I don't taste any passion fruit. but the, I, I don't mean, taste... I, th I feel like that bitterness kills the passion fruit. Yeah, I love, I love passion fruit. So that's another thing that's part of the dragon juice. You, you didn't have any dragon juice. I'll make you some dragon juice at some point. Okay. I don't have the stuff to do it now, but it's a closely guarded recipe that we only um, give to people that subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> 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 Only two people can have it. <laughs> yes. And, and you know what? We're going to make it 33%. So two people have 33%. We keep the other third. Yeah. And now no one has the complete recipe. Okay. So it's we're like, like a, a society, a club. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no one we're, holds all the keys. And, and we're, we're going to call it the fucking idiot club. <laughs> Fick. Yeah. So this is good. But. Aside from beer, now I gotta talk about. Are you a boxing fan? Oh yeah, yeah. So you know about Tyson and Jake fucking, Paul. Oh yeah, oh, my God. but you probably don't know. I know. Yeah. I know. Oh, do you? Because I know you don't really follow many sports. So I I know the the battle going on. But uh, I saw a training video for Tyson. I saw it, dude. motherfucker, yeah. dude. That guy's punch will he's crack a, his fucking ribs, yeah, man. He's fifty seven, <laughs> and I'm like, man, he's got a sexy body. I th I I, <laughs> I think people underestimate him because of his age. But the dude carries well, a lot of. I think what's going to happen, yeah. He, I mean, he's still. I mean, he he was the youngest heavyweight champion, but he that technique doesn't go away, right? Yeah. But so you lose some flexibility and some stamina. So, you know, he's not going to be able to go the long haul for sure. So you've got to. I mean, because uh, Jake Paul's twenty seven, I think. Yeah. So it's a thirty year gap. But there's um, there's he's going to have to, and and Jake Paul's going to reach on him. Yes. So yeah. you know, yeah. uh, Jake Paul's going to be. I mean, look what we could do with our. You know, when we were 27 versus Roman when he's 57. But, I mean, the style, I don't think Jake Paul, I don't think a lot of people have seen the, that peekaboo style that yeah. Mike Tyson does. Yeah. You know, and, and he did that well. Like he, that was his He's thing. short and he's like, he, he, he yeah. doesn't he doesn't extend like this. He does this. Yeah. I you predict, put your shoulder in, that's some fucking power. Yeah. I predict that Mike Tyson's technique is going to be take the punches to close the range. And then yeah, yeah. hit him with powerful, yeah. and, powerful and, shots. And and it's a great it's a great strategy because I'll tell you I'll tell you what I I don't know I've never been in the ring with Tyson but you get punched once you're you're, you're kind of done if, it, if, I mean, if he a, connects correctly if it's, yeah if it's right. connected because yeah. I don't like Tyson didn't didn't jab much no. in his career he did not jab he much he was, like a, he was an inside guy because he's got a short deal but, yeah. but his chest is out here his arms are this long so you're like you're like you know fucking boxing and like a little T-Rex. Yeah, one-inch fucking box, right? Yeah. So anyway, I wanted to bring that up because I saw it. But but he's got good footwork. Like, he can get in and out quick. I mean, you're not um, going to get these $20 million paydays where the fuck it's going to be, but why the fuck you need that? I you know? I, I, it's funny. I saw someone take um, Jake's face and put it on Tyson's body. Mm -hmm. Tyson's. And they're like, who do you think is going to win? <laughs> I love when people make those little, those little, like, little jib jab videos. You ever see those jib jab yeah. for like, like Christmas time or something? There's like little elves dance around you. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, I, I'm I'm interested. So this is July, right? I don't know what the date is in July, but I think it's gonna be on Netflix. Mm. So how does that work? Do you have to get to get to buy it, or that's is it question. in your Netflix? Netflix does live. I I think that's what they're trying to get into now. Mm, that's a new thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Man, Netflix has so much money. Yeah. Well, we just keep raising our fucking subscriptions. So I know. Yeah. Hey, Netflix, do you need a podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to Carlos because <laughs> he's going to be my co-host. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is really creamy. Congratulations, Carlos. <laughs> um, I'm wondering, too, like, because obviously Tyson, like, he, he he boxed a lot. He got hit a lot. He's He's gotten hit. Jake Paul, has he ever taken a punch from somebody like oh, Mike Tyson? Like Tyson. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's another thing, too. Like, he, if you're not used to getting hit. You know, by uh, somebody at that caliber, then mm -hmm. what's going to happen? You know, I mean, you know, Jake Paul's history, like he was a YouTube influencer yep. and all this other bullshit. Yeah. And I, I don't take away from what his boxing credentials are now, but when you are hit by Tyson, yeah. that is it's, something yeah. you've not experienced. And like, I, I can say, I, again, I've never been hit by him and I can imagine what it feels like, but I think most of us know yeah. it's going to fucking hurt. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, really. And the guy, I think he's like, he's been hit enough. Where you're, a lot of boxers are, are kind of, you know, not all there. 
he might be able to hit, get take a hit, and maybe it's going to take like a minute or two to register for Tyson that he fucking got hit. But he's going to get like four or five more hits. And like, it's fucking crazy how it works. Like, I got another friend who's a really big boxing guy, but um, I, I like these things for the older people that can't compete at the, you know, on the, on the heavyweight, heavyweight level now that are going to be able to make a name for themselves. I mean, I know Tyson's got some controversy behind him and what he did and this Desiree Washington. The, mm-hmm. I actually did a speech on him in college about, about this rape thing. And, um, but e- either way, so I'm interested to see this and see what happens, but, um, I don't know if you have to pay for it or not. I'd, I'd imagine somehow you have to, unless Netflix just got so much fucking money, they can just write you a check. <laughs> or the viewership. There's going to be probably a lot of advertisement. That's right. Did any of you guys watch, uh, Tyson documentary? I did. Mm-mm. Yeah. How many of those fighters right. that were interviewed, they're like the power behind this guy's punches is unexpected. I watched Frank Bruno, the fucking oh, man. He's, he's taking, talking shit, talking shit. He's yeah. fucking. Yeah. He's taking big dudes down. Yeah. yeah. But he's, he's not afraid and he was a different man after he lost Custom Auto. Yeah. Uh, exactly. For sure. Uh, yeah. Cus was like his, his, his dad. Yeah. But at an, as a 19 year old, as a, as a, as a heavyweight champion, I mean, that guy was a fucking animal. Yeah. And he, and he, and he, and he Honestly, I don't. I don't know what his weight is now compared to what he boxed. He definitely had more muscle uh, then, you know, b- back then in the eighties, nineties. But it's um, I don't. I don't know what his fighting weight is. But he doesn't look. I mean, other than bald and a fucking face tattoo, he doesn't really look much different. Do you remember that fight he got in with? Uh, was it Green? Uh, that boxer, Trevor? No, not Trevor Green. Uh, I watched Peter McNeely. All the, I, I've seen all his fights. Yeah, yeah. but the one it was like a bar fight. He was oh, supposed to oh, fight the guy, and, yeah, yeah. and I think Tyson actually broke his hand. Yeah, or yeah. But Green's yeah. eye was like, but and 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 that's what happened, right? Yeah. So he was so volatile. Yeah, uh, I get it. I mean, you, you know, you're 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 trained to beat the fuck out of people, yeah. so it's it's tough. Like, yeah. it's hard for me to. It would be hard for me to be a trained, not assassin or killer, but injurer. <laughs> Mitch Green. Mitch Green. Mitch Green. Yep. Yeah, that's right. So it'd be hard for me to do that, and then like have him in the same place as me, and have a nice quiet candlelit dinner with my my wife. And, yeah. and it wasn't. I don't know if it was that fucking. She fucking ruined him, by the way. That fucking uh, oh, uh, Robin. Robin Gibbons. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That was. That was on. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was a bad. It was a bad deal. But either way, so I just want to talk about the fight. You know, uh, cool, I mean, we'll do that. Tyson always has backup. Jake Paul has two ears. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right. Um, so what else we got? Oh, well, we need to hear more about Carlos's trip. Uh, who gives so, a, Car- Oh, shit. Carlos is here. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to hear about... Uh, the- so Ocean Lab, describe how the brewery looks like. Okay. So as you're walking in, it's... I think there's like a resort to the left of it. And then you go to the right, and the brewery's right there to the right. But you, you, you go up the stairs, and you have the two tiers. Um, so that you got the tables where you can eat, and it's kind of like open air, and you're overlooking the ocean. And you can see the big stage. You can see the two pools down below. And then up above is where the bar is, and there's also some tables there too. But it's, I mean, no matter where you are, like, there's no walls. You can see everything around you on the outside. So it sounds like a... A big place. Um, is there more than one bar? No, like so down below when you're walking in, there's like a like a little area where it's, it's like a small little bar. They might have a couple taps, and I think it's for the people that are at the pool, like poolside. They can get out of the pool and then walk to to a little bar area and fill up their glass mm, and then walk okay. right to the pool. But the main bar is on on the second story. And are there waiters? Yes. Yeah. There's a so probably, they probably walk back and forth. Yeah, they walk like, back taking and forth. people's yeah. orders because yeah. you send like photos and videos, and I gotta say it looks like if you watch like MTV Spring yes. Break, yep. pools full of like guys and girls, and you know, it's just wild, crazy shit. Mm, like those that, weren't in the videos I saw. That <laughs> you used to watch gay porn. No, okay. uh, did, were that, they in the videos he sent you? No. <laughs> what? No. Oh, so, so it looks like it could. How is that? Yeah, I thought yeah. you were talking about yeah. that. Wasn't like, yeah. I didn't see those. The venue yeah. looks like something like that. Because the stage is stage. Yeah, the stage is okay. legit. There's, there's multiple stage. pools. I'm like, what the fuck videos did I not see? Open <laughs> area. And um, they were saying like, so if you want access to the pools, I think there's like two pools, and then the big stage. 
Um, if you want access to that, it's like eighty dollars for the day. But if just to go up to the bar itself, you don't have to pay for that. You just you know walk in and go to the right. Oh, so when when you pay for that eighty dollar access, that includes to go to the exactly yeah. Yeah. Like drinks and stuff like that, or just to the to just go, like watch the just, concert. Yeah, exactly, just to sit on. So there's a couple of like big couches, and then there's a big pool. I don't think it's I don't think it's two pools. I think it's like one long pool that wraps mm -hmm. around, and then you can like you can legit like if there's like a, uh, a show going on, you can watch the concert from from the pool area. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you want to watch a concert from the pool, it's eighty bucks. Yeah, yeah. That's a that's a cheap ticket. <laughs> but then, but then the area where they have like all their swag, it, it's it's cool. It's a big like a shop. It's a huge yeah. shop. It, yeah. It's it's big. Yeah. Nice. Did you get any swag from there? Yes, I did, and I actually um, brought you guys something. Oh, you so, got this. Ooh, you got some goodies. goodies. Nice. Let's yeah, see. I got you guys some goodies. So I can't wait to see a can't thong, see. Frankie thong, Frankie thong, Frankie thong. <laughs> that was awkward. For who? Who? I don't even know how to respond to that. <laughs> Can we see? Can we see it now? Uh, yeah. I like gifts. I like goodies. GIFs, gifts, gifts. So, okay. Sorry about the color. Nice. Oh, color it's it's Caribbean, so I mean, yeah. it's nice. A yeah. Very pastel color, so very nice. Thank you, Carlos. Oh shit! Sorry about that. Oh, I like that. Show me your back. Mm. Oh right. yeah. That's a pretty fucking cool logo. That's a cool logo, really. You know, good for them. Good I already, for I already, I already like this. I already like this brewery. I'm gonna take my shirt off on Thank camera you, and put this on. There you go. All right. So <laughs> there's gonna be a blackout screen because there's gonna be a lot of hair right now. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna blur sen censored areas, which will be the entire body. <laughs> it'd like, be like here. All you're gonna see is Romans right here. <laughs> It'll be like a Sasquatch sliding. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> let's get back to this. This is awkward if I was going to wear a Frankie thong. Like, awkward? What? No, you know. can't wear a Frankie thong. Well, he said it was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> no, we said that was just awkward because we didn't have a come. We didn't know what to say. You didn't have a come? <laughs> come back. Okay, finish that. If I come on your back, you'll have come back. Yeah. Well, you'd have like <laughs> fucking dreadlocks because it'd be all sticky and shit. You know what Superman is? What? When, when you come on the girl's back and you stick the sheets on. <laughs> like a cape. <laughs> okay. Or superwoman, superman, depends on who you're having sex with. How about with. Super Carlos? You let me know how that goes. <laughs> Why do you never say no to anything? I still don't get it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like in shock. He's just like, <laughs> he's not used to it. I'm taking it all in. Oh, yeah, you're taking it all. Don't ruin our ambassador. Yeah, no, sorry. But, uh, Still has to travel. Yes, thank you. And thank you for these. Cool. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you so much for the gift. Thank you for the beers. And So when you have these um, at the brewery, you have the servers. You, you had you had a waiter. Yeah. There's waitresses, I'm sure. Do they wear like, um, I mean, I'm asking for a friend. Do they wear like bikini tops and stuff? No. <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. No. I'm just wondering. I mean, it's hot down there. I want them yeah, to be comfortable our friend, too. Our friend Mike. Yeah, I want them. I want them to be comfortable yeah. also. <laughs> yeah, it's hot down yeah. there. Mike. Mike. His last name is Hunt. Do Mike they, Hunt. Do they <laughs> <laughs> called? Do they go in the pool or no? No, they don't. No, that's why they don't wear bikinis. Did you go to a swim bar? Those are pretty cool. You know, a swim bar is when you go in the pool and there's like little concrete seats in the pool. When we were in um, Cancun a couple years back. Okay, yeah. not here though. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah not, not there. So, what other breweries you go to? Um, we, we went to one, uh, one in, um, uh, Condado, I think. Um, it, it, so it wasn't like a brewery, like, um, like, like this one was, mm -hmm. it was more like a, kind of like, um, like a tap room, kind of like a Harvey's. Oh, okay. Harvey's Garden, like where oh, the, so, the, so, the, yeah. so they don't brew their own beer, but they dispense. They do brew it and then, but they dispense it right there on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. But their own. Like Harvey's self, doesn't like, have their own, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Self serve. It, it was self serve. Yeah. Okay. And it was kind of cool. It was, it was different than Harvey's. Like, you know, Harvey's. Uh, you get the card. Mm -hmm. This one you get like a like a wristband, mm. and then you just. Oh, it's like Disney. Yeah. yeah. Disney with beer, but those beers were um Disney beersney Disney. <laughs> they had a lot more sours, so they had uh, the sours, and those beer those sours had a lot of guava and mango. Oh. I gotta say, a year from now. We started this podcast. I got into like craft beer. I feel like within the year, sours becoming more popular. I don't know how popular sours were back then, 
but they yeah they're like becoming more popular. Yeah, I think so too. And, and, and you know, we didn't have them. I mean, one of our earliest ones was this fucking lactose thing that we couldn't deal with. Um, but it's yeah. how do you feel about sours? You like them? So I love sours. Um, sours were actually what got me into IPAs because before that I was I was like a Coors Light, Miller Light mm-hmm. um, beer drinker. But then a buddy of mine had a sour. I'm like, oh. I'll taste it. And I liked it, so I drank the sours for a long time. And then eventually I got into the IPAs and the, you know, the hazies and, and, and the, the heavier stuff. How yep. come you didn't teach me that? How come you didn't start me off with the sours? You I, like straight into I Roman. I tried, dude. You got you to gotta be a man. <laughs> <laughs> drink IPAs. No, remember like uh, we were, uh, we were golfing one day and you're like, yingling. You ever had yingling? I'm like, yeah, motherfucker, I had yingling. <laughs> <laughs> Who has had yingling? He's like, this is like the best thing in the world. <laughs> like baby bottles in your balls. <laughs> I didn't say it was the best thing in the world. <laughs> I, had, I had yingling out the tit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> My mama's milk was yingling. I mean, I love yingling. I, I mean, was it's, showered it's great yang. But, but, um, So I started off with, you know, just drink beer. We talked about beer balls before. I, I started, mm. You never had a... I never ever. had a beer ball. Yeah, so I did. And you know, and, and yeah, but I, was, I love the beer balls, man. They're fucking yep. great. Yep. I actually I moved here. I moved here to Central New York while Budweiser was still producing beer balls. We talked about that. So 2009. Yeah, right. Was right. the last year the last of one. the beer ball production, yep. and they were the last one in the country to do that. And it started with Matt's Brewing, right? Started with Max. Yeah. Matt's. Yeah. Matt's. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Matt's. yeah. yeah. So. You know, and then, you know, we, I'd have the shitty beer. You're on, a, you're on a budget when you don't have a job, and you, you know, your parents give you money for lunch, and you use it towards beer. That was my budget, so you drink the shitty beer. But then you had beer balls, and then you start getting like you know maybe higher end shitty beer, right? Yeah. And then you get into like the production beers that are cheaper to buy because they're made in such a big quality. But now you get established in life, you're set up. Now you can afford some better beers that we're drinking now. So, but from there, I just went into. Like right into IPAs, like you know all these Sierra, Sierra Nevadas and, and and all these Flower Power, yeah. Ithaca, oh, you know, yeah. like just yeah. heavy, heavy shit. And I would just drink a lot of those. I'm like, man, I feel so fucking full and bloated mm-hmm. and, and and coincidentally hammered, <laughs> you know. But now I realize, like, man, well, there's some other things in, in the sours that we. I never had a sour until we started this podcast a year ago. I never had one, mm. but um, yeah, you know, we like them. And and I didn't realize when we talked to Amber at, at, at uh, you know, Urban South. You know, in Arnola, yeah, and um, you know, I didn't realize we said in the in the in the podcast that you know a lot of the sours, it's easily identifiable. Ident- identifiable. Don't fucking look at me like that. <laughs> it's easily identifiable. The flavors you're trying to you yeah know, yeah the, exactly. the, the, you're tasting in the sour yeah. so. So yeah. fuck you, Carlos. That's that's why <laughs> <laughs> when Bullfinch had that uh, lime yes. lime. Uh, key lime pie. Key lime pie. Yeah. Thank you. It's like you're drinking key lime pie. Yeah, exactly. It was amazing. That, yeah, we had that in Pennsylvania. That was really good. Yeah. Did, did I have that when we went there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that yep. key lime pie yep. was really good. Yeah, it's good. I like their stuff. Yeah. yeah. Sour. So sours are, seem to be to me, and and maybe other people, don't know, uh, very. You're able to detect what 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 they're made with. Like, I mean, you, you get blood orange out of blood orange, you know, but like, you know, I didn't really taste a lot of this other stuff with grapefruit, but it's our passion fruit. So it's there, but like the sours are, are pretty well defined with, with, yeah. with taste. You can you know? pinpoint the, yeah. the flavors. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it tells you on the can also, so that's probably helpful, but like, well, if you didn't read it and you just yeah. go by but taste. lactose, oh, that's, that's tough for me. That that's like, tough, that's yeah. like a, that's like yeah. a milkshake that just yeah. does not taste good. You know? So we're still waiting for those. Can you use sours for like cocktails, like to mix drinks with sours? Like a whiskey sour? Oh, it's good. Uh, no, but like say you add vodka or whatever. I don't okay, know. We'll about, try it. I don't know about sours, but uh, I got a buddy of mine. He, he loves making uh, cocktail drinks, and he always uses um, Genesee. Um, they, they make a Kolsch, but it's like a grapefruit. Mm-hmm. Yes. A ruby. Oh, uh, ruby red. A ruby red. Yeah. So he makes a um, birita with that, and it's mm, it's freaking delicious. Birita. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so in in I have a hard time When's drinking. Your buddy coming over to make those. <laughs> I can I can ask him. He, he, asking for a friend. I mean, that's his thing. That's <laughs> he's, his thing. he's he, like, I can call him. He'll be here yeah. in five minutes. He makes all those bougie, <laughs> delicious cocktails. Nice. Uh, yeah, real good. I don't drink a lot of drinks that aren't carbonated, like alcohol. You don't? No, I just, I just don't. I don't know why. I mean, the dragon juice isn't carbonated. That's pretty good, but mm-hmm. 
I don't know. For me, I just feel like, you know, to have alcohol, it's got to be carbonated because that's what has been ingrained in me since I was, you know. Since you've been buying cheap Well, beer. since my, my daughter might listen since I was 21, but. I was really like 15. Okay. Is that quiet? So she was here before you're driving. <laughs> that, that but he, peels was cool. Yeah, yeah. With, with that little can that you actually peel the fucking lid yeah. off. The the little pull tab. It wasn't the. Yeah, it was a roll it back. A, yeah, like a sardine. Yeah. Can. <laughs> the smells like fish. It's a tasty dish. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like fish. Eat all you wish. That's it smells funny. like cologne. Leave have, it alone. Have any of you guys ever used fake IDs to like? Yes. Oh my god. I still got mine. Isn't it? Isn't it funny? Like once you turn twenty one, you're like. Mm. It's like it wasn't a big deal. It was, right. like, it was like a celebratory. Like, oh, let fucking go! I finally can get alcohol. For me, it was like, oh, I just get rid of my fake one. <laughs> it's like and really nothing back, changed. Really. Back then, I don't know what it's like now, but back then, people were like, that's not you, but I'll sell you the beer anyway. <laughs> yeah, they fucking know. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah I think some bouncers are like, yeah, but well, in the, like even even at the maker. store. But now there's so many different regulations and laws, yeah. the ABC and stuff like yeah. that. You're gonna get in trouble with. So it's like uh, you ever watch that movie, uh, Super Bad? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Loving. What yeah. was his fake name? I forgot. Oh, fake ID. It was like like one name. There's no last name. His friends like, who are you, fucking Seal or Madonna? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> forgot the name. Uh, yeah. What was his name? Anyways, yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you remember uh, uh, chalking the IDs when in New York City? Yeah. That easy. You could like, yeah. kind of easy to. Chalk so I was telling, it. I was telling Roman, I got a buddy that I went to school with who owns a brewery now, locally. And he was going to school for architecture, and he used to use all his little architecture tools to chalk my ID. Yeah. So, so What's chalking your ID. So back in like the what do you want to say, like early nineties, late eighties, like yeah. the, the New York City ID was like a different um, material. It was kind of like um, it was like a plastic coated thing. So, but you can you can take your ID and you can yeah. use a fine point, and you can like you could you could dab it. And make like little holes, and then fill those holes in with like chalk to change the the date of your birth. Oh, interesting! Yeah, I, I want to say I think the date of birth was um, in red. It might have been red, or like it was it was colored. So you, you would like like you said you would yeah. da- uh, chalk it with like you would dab the chalk You'd on poke it, poke it, yeah, and then you would take like a colored pencil or whatever and just like change hmm. like like the, a seventy three was really yeah. you know or, or a seventy eight was really easy to change to a seventy three. Oh, I see. You interesting. Know? Yeah. This is straight up Armenian bullshit right here. Creative. <laughs> <laughs> but then some states had had the idea where it was like legit, like you'd the paper in the middle and then the plastic. Yeah. And you, yeah. You, you could find a way to peel the plastic. Yeah. When then, I lived in Utah, it was just laminated paper. That was yeah, the idea. Right. And I was like, I can fucking make this shit. Yeah. So like make IDs. Like the old pistol permits. You ever see those? It was just yeah, like, it looked just, like a little, like a birth certificate. Like, what the so fuck is Mad- this? Yeah. Madison County, where, where I live, I think up to like two years ago, they had that, that, oh that paper. Yeah. And then every time I'd go about, you know, buy a pistol or something, they'd be like, oh my God, Madison County. They get, you know, the guy at the county be like, man, you guys, you guys are so outdated. Oh, you don't have a new one yet? No. I, oh. So I finally did like yeah. two years ago, I finally got the, the plastic one where they, yeah. you, like, you know, they put all your, uh, your, your pistols on the, on the back. Yeah. Which is really weird because on these pistol permits, they don't have, like, I, I've got a card. I got, I've got two cards because i got so many. Yeah. The second card doesn't have any information about you. <laughs> like, it just. It's, oh, yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just like, well, It's yeah, so it's funny. Like, so what if you, like, have three, four cards? Do you have to carry all of them with right. you? Yeah. Well, I would carry the one that I was having with my carry weapon, you know, but still. So, I mean, like, you would carry the first one that has your picture ID and the one that you're carrying at the time. Right. Yeah, I don't know if there's a way to rearrange these or not, but I mean, it's really, I don't know why they don't have it tied into this fucking little. I don't know why don't they just have. It's like a barcode and the barcode just gets scanned the barcode and they'll. Well, same way with licenses now. Licenses are barcode. Like you can scan the back to see if it's uh, chalked or fake. I think they should link everything into like a driver's license. Well, it's tough because, I mean. Like you have a driver's license and then if you do hunting, you'll have like deer, you know, picture. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Still, you'll have like a pistol picture on it and then they can scan it and see all your i wonder if they don't do it because it's like a privacy thing like you like some people feel like they don't want other people to know that they have oh like pistol. well it should only be accessible to law enforcement but a lot of people don't like being on the grid like that yeah or, or don't don't put what if you don't have a license don't put any labels on just just have it scanned if you speaking don't have a license of, speaking of no these... labels there's no labels political party it's called no labels 
It's called No Labels. Yeah, you hear about this? I'm, 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 not, no. I'm not joking. Have you heard about this? No. I'm not joking. So, you know, um, Manchin from West Virginia, has he's not going to run for re-election. So they were thinking that he might run for the as a No Labels candidate for president. And now he said no, so now it might be Kristen Cinema because she's not going to run for re-election. Um, so w- which is offer? That's different from independent then. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. So there has there's never no been. An Hello, in- Carlos. Independent is a label. There has <laughs> never been an independent president. <laughs> what makes you think there's but no, be labels, no label president? No labels is a label. Like, if yeah. I'm, you know, like <laughs> yeah, you still. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you put a label on the bottle with no writing on it, it's still a label. Right. <laughs> yeah, like like uh, that. Who was it? so it was Rush, if the the group Rush. Mm-hmm. If you if you choose to make no choice, you've still made a choice. Mm-hmm. You know, that's but true. Uh, Kennedy. So Kennedy, who was running as an independent, he's there's there's thoughts about him and his vice president, and as a vice presidential candidate, there's talk. It's Aaron Rodgers from the Jets. I saw that the quarterback. <laughs> oh, I think I heard. Yeah. And someone else. Oh, uh, I heard Jesse that. Ventura, the former WWE wrestler. Gosh. Well, at least he was a governor back yeah, in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Is he okay? Didn't he have like multiple hip surgery replacements? Yeah. Like, doesn't he live in Mexico or My something? My governor would be up your governor. <laughs> he lives in Mexico, no? I, I don't know where he lives. No, he used to live in Minnesota. Jesse Ventura, right? He used to live yeah. in Minnesota. Yeah, because he was governor. Yeah. yeah. But you know what I'd like if it, if it was possible is because you, know, you, know, you have to be a natural born citizen, all this other bullshit. But how about like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? You know? He did good as a Republican governor in California. Like again, Republican or Democrat, he did a good job. Do you do you watch that documentary on him? No, Arnold. Check it out. It, it's it's a good about it's about good documentary. His whole life or just about yeah uh, from political the, from the beginning uh, bodybuilding yeah. time in the military uh, acting and then politics. So what military was he in? In uh, the U.S. No, nah, Austria. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. I don't know when he came here. How old he was? Uh, he, was it the sixties? Yeah, because he, he came over because he wanted to uh, compete. Yeah, uh, and you know, go to uh, obviously uh, Muscle Beach and yep. compete with the with the big guys, and um, got into acting. And uh, it's a great, it's a great time. Yeah, I'll have to watch that. Check it out. Yep. He has a house in the uh, Baja Peninsula in Mexico. Yeah. Jess oh, Ventura. Jess Ventura. Yeah. So yeah. Jess Ventura's got to be early seventies. Does it say his age? Um, I'll tell you. I mean, I remember watching him in the WWF at the time. Now WWE. Um, and he was an animal then. Yeah. He was a seal. A and, and, yeah, too, right? exactly. And, yeah, and, yeah, and, he he's, and he's no bullshit guy. Yeah. 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 Um, I, when I used to listen to Howard Stern, uh, he was on there. And uh, that guy is wild. Yeah. But and there's it, some stuff he says like it makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah. everybody says some stuff that makes sense. And a lot of people say stuff that doesn't make sense. Like this podcast. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Everything. You say makes no sense. Right. Because I'm creamy and sexy or tasty. Oh. I'm creamy and tasty. Our, <laughs> our our follower said that I was the smartest one. That was your follower. You have one follower, right? That was, that was your friend. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Teabag Jeff. Oh. Uh, Is that Roman? Normally, you're, you're the smartest one, but this time I wanted to drive no. my truck into a tree. <laughs> <laughs> he was six old fashions in. That doesn't yes, really count. Ventura is 72 Ooh, that's, years that's old. favorite drink right there. Is it? Oh, old fashioned, love really? Old fashions. Love uh, Teabag Jeff loves him, too. Yeah, he was like four in, right? He was six. Six in? And he, and he, well, he ended up at six afterwards. Oh, okay. So he might start with four. We were talking to him. He was few in, at least. So I'm gonna, He's I'm, 72. Jesse Ventura, you asked me what age he is. Hashtag Teabag Jeff. All right. <laughs> <laughs> He he has a hashtag now. <laughs> it's official. Yeah, he's growing. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, or again, I mean, if there was a if there was an awesome Democratic candidate, all right, we'll, we'll talk about that. But there isn't one. I mean, there. Are... Hey guys, I need um, I need more beer. So do I. All right, mm-hmm. let's pause for a second. All right, refilled on beer. And, and just to clarify, we're wearing different clothes. There wasn't a wardrobe malfunction. Like yeah, it's yeah. not like a <laughs> <laughs> we had to wear our new swag right, that the Carlos new swag. brought us. So here, Ocean left Lab to, Brewing Company left it approved. Shout out, thank yeah. you. Thank oh, you. Uh, this is to Ocean Lab Brewing Company. Reach out, send us some beer. Maybe we'll do more reviews if there's any other swag or anything. They or invite us down way. to see you. We'll come down to see you. Yeah, I got no problem going on another vacation. Absolutely, yeah, we, this is a threesome for sure. Like <laughs> like for travel. Yes. Let's get this. <laughs> remember, remember what we say, right? God, beer will travel. Yeah, have beer will have travel. Beer will yeah. travel. So, uh, open an invitation. Yeah. Um, all right, we are drinking 
Jax Abbey. So I went to our, our local bottle shop, uh, branching out bottle shop store. And every Friday between four and six, they have breweries come in and they do tasting. So I walk in, kind of like forgot about the whole thing. I walked in focus. I was running out of time and um, grabbed the basket, started, you know, shopping. And I hear, oh, would you like to try a beer? And I turn around like, oh, yes. Who, who doesn't want to try beer? Well, first of all, who doesn't realize that this thing's set up right at the fucking front door? Like, <laughs> well, the, the booth thing is always there. Right. <laughs> Was there no one there? She wasn't, the, the, uh, the, the representative wasn't there. But the dog came up, right? Their dog? He normally comes yeah, up. Yeah, where was he? But he was or sitting she, in his bed, yeah. and I think he was tired. Yeah. So, a nurse in a hangover, maybe? <laughs> of course. I, I couldn't go there without petting him. Yeah. So um, Emily was working there at, at the stand, and so she let me try all these beers. So this is uh, Slovenian-style lager. Okay, and there's something interesting about this. If you if you read on the back, um, it says floor malted Czech malts. And what's cool about this is it was actually on the floor, like laid out on the floor, and the guy in these like boots just walking and and, and raking and pushing the the malts. So the floor malted. That's what it means. That, that that's kind of cool. Does that do something for the flavor? Like is floor malted different? Or I don't know. Yeah. It's, but I've never heard of it. That I've never heard of floor malted um, malts. <laughs> this what the, I mean. You're a guest and you're fucking jumping. You're drinking shit. You poured it already. Like what it, the it's, fuck, it's, man? It's delicious. Huh? Well, you yeah. know we don't need to drink. You just tell us what you think, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Let, let's, let's pour. <laughs> Hold on. Let's pour. Don't say a word. Okay. About the beer. You can talk. Watch how perfect I am, because I'm really good at this. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, perfect. no. This I'm certified. Thanksgiving hat again. No. Oh, Watch oh, this. Oh, that's actually that's. Oh, and I'm gonna impressive. I'm gonna I'm gonna give us some. No, look. you want I, a little. Look at that. That is good. Yeah. Look at Roman's all. Look at he Spill fucked up. All over look at that. It's like spittle. no, I didn't. Look at oh, perfect. You got too much head. Bubbles everywhere. Yeah. What the fuck? fuck bubble. <laughs> fuck. That's an ad right there. Bubble bitch. That's a <laughs> <laughs> bubble fuck. <laughs> bubble butt. Yeah. I, cheers, I think cheers, I want guys. more head than this. I'll give you it to later. Perfect. <laughs> Boy, it worked. So, this one is in collaboration with mm. Um, mm -hmm. Human Robot Brewery. Uh, this is in collaboration with collaboration with Human Robot Brewery. And uh, so, Jack's Jack's Abbey Brewing is from Framingham, I believe. Massachusetts, Framingham or Framington? Uh, Framingham. Mm -hmm. So, I I told Emily about our podcast and what we do. We do interviews and stuff like that. So she she said, absolutely get in, get in touch with me. I'll I'll contact the owners or brewmaster or somebody at the brewery that will love to sit down and do. Is she interview. is she here or is she in Massachusetts? I don't know yeah. where she is. Yeah. Um, I'd imagine she's got to be here, somewhere. but. I mean, her business card says Massachusetts. So, mm -hmm. how so, far do you think is that? From, thank you, Emily. Uh, and I told her, and she went on Instagram right away and followed us. <laughs> so that means she's gonna unfollow us in like five minutes. You left. She's like unfollow. So please. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Emily, and, and, and please yeah. follow us on Instagram, Facebook, um, X, known as Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube. We got subscribe Patreon, on YouTube. Yeah. Please subscribe on Patreon. You know, we, we don't have any advertising. This episode brought to you by Brews and Banter. This episode brought to you by Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> this tastes like a Czech Pilsner to me, not a lager. Yes. It's like, I'm, 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 it is, it's, it's like a Czech little Czech bitter, malt, right? Yeah. Is it a Pilsner? The, it's Czech malt. Yeah, but it's, it says lager here. Do you taste it like maybe a Pilsner? I do taste like, yeah. like a Pilsner. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not upset with this, you know. I like well, it. I mean, it smells like like a Pilsner would, right? So I was talking to Carlos, and I said, uh, what kind of beer do you want for the for the episode? And he wants to take it easy a little bit with IPAs. And so he's like, maybe Weed Al or, or um, what was that one you said? Pilsner? Kolsch. Kolsch. Yeah, German Kolsch. So I saw this. I tried it. I'm like, it almost like tasting between. Yeah. 
Oh, this is good, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, perfect. You picked it out good. It's it's still like um light enough, mm-hmm. yeah. but it has like a little bit of a little bit of a bite to it. Yeah, on the on, on, on the on the back side. But this to me is like a you know, a fucking ninety degree day beer. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. She also let me try Buck. Oh yeah. And that one was, right? Yeah. yeah. That one's seven percent. Mm-hmm. And I and I tried it, I was like I don't taste seven percent. She goes, "Yeah, that one's dangerous. <laughs> it's, it's like Tina Fey. It's sneaky hot. <laughs> yeah, it'll trick you yeah. at first, and then it'll come back and fuck you. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Wow. Okay. Man, I'm gonna change my middle name to Bach. I'm gonna trick you at first, and come back and fuck you. <laughs> Frankie Bach. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn it all over, Roman. Sorry, Carlos. I know you got virgin ears. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I just need to just not talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Emily. Hi, this is Roman. I did. <laughs> I did warn Emily. I said, our podcast can get a little crazy sometimes. She's like, eh, you're drinking alcohol. Who knows? Things can happen. Honestly, she's correct. But honestly, <laughs> coffee does this to us. It doesn't fucking matter. Oh, my gosh. You know. So, <laughs> shout out to Emily. Jack's and, Abbey. And thanks, Jack's Abbey, for this collaboration with the human oh, robot. Fuck, we didn't grade the first two beers. Oh, I know man. I know the or- the blood orange. I'm at four and a quarter all day. All day, early. Blood orange, I'm four and a half. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. I'd say uh, 4.75. Yeah. Oh, so really? So Ooh, five is the highest. Yeah. Oh. What's, your, what's your five? Do you have a five? So out of those beers? Out of Ocean uh, any Man? beer. Any beer you've had, oh, what's your five? My five would be... Or do you have a five? Yeah. The closest would be... Uh, I love Treehouse. All yeah. Treehouse beers yeah. and uh, Beer Tree out yep. of uh, Binghamton. Those are like... Four eight fives, four nines, mm-hmm. but beer tree was a fire and ice. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as Ocean Lab, the uh, that blue ocean or ocean yeah. blue, that mm-hmm. for me that was a five. That was a oh, five good for you. Yeah. yeah, it was everything I wanted. How come we haven't had five? I I've not had a five yet. I, yeah. I don't know. I mean, these these southern tier beers for me are pretty close. Yeah. What the would two, be the two like, What would have to be? What would have to happen to be like? Oh, that's five. I think for me, a five would have to be. I get slightly lightheaded, and I have no skin left on my eyelids because I got such a massive erection. <laughs> I was just going to say, you take a sip of that beer, and yeah. you get an orgasm. I'm, I'm like Beaker from the Muppets. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but, so, so granted, like as far, as far as those beers from Ocean Lab, I was there at the place like with like, yeah. nice weather, the ambiance, so that, mm-hmm. that added a lot to the beers that I was drinking. And that's okay, for sure. So, yeah. yeah, it's like definitely, like I don't, I don't know what it was, like just ocean, clear skies, 80 degree weather and it it just made those the taste of the beers like pop. Yeah, I, I like that. I like the ocean. He does that too. He's like, I don't know, I don't know. I'm like, what are you doing here? I don't know. I just I'm like I don't. Okay, no, I just sneak up on you. Fuck you. Uh, I would make love to you, Roman. See, see, to all those people that I warn about our podcast and, and you're listening, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, it's just fun stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but, but this I is okay, it. right? When you when you have like the right atmosphere, yeah. the perf- perfect formula for that yeah. beer, you like, yeah. that's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, if, if I had that, I'd say fine. And it's usually like when you stop on the way home from work and you want to have a beer... But you have to be somewhere at six thirty or seven. And you're like, fuck, these beers taste really good. Yeah, <laughs> that's the that's the kind of that doesn't count feeling for me. Yeah. Like a big thing, like uh, when I used to work at construction, getting off work, you you know hanging sheetrock all day, or it's hot, dusty. You stop at a bar, that Coors Light is gonna feel yeah. freaking amazing. Sure, sure. It's, stop it's, at the bar after that, you can look like ghost, <laughs> <the> drywalling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that Coors Light, man. It's, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Coors Light, yeah. Craft Beer, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyways, oh, I was going to look up uh, Jack's Abbey. Yeah, this is definitely like, you know, summer, you're done yeah. mowing the lawn, you want like a nice this, light. It's smooth. It's light, it's yeah, not it's overly good. carbonated. And it's, yeah. yeah, it's it's very, um. this is a multi-drink beer for yeah. sure. Like, yeah, you know, definitely. not like these IPAs that... 
that you know they're just heavy. This is very yeah. um exactly. very late. This is five percent, I think, right? They had another one next to this. It was a uh, like a, a lemon lager or something like that. Ooh. That was nice and it was a little bit lighter than this one. Five percent. Yeah, five percent. But even lemon, even like a Excuse lot of people me. like. Mm, hang on, mm, that tastes good, Roman. <laughs> these these lemon beers. Um, I'm not a big fan of lemon. Even yeah, even you don't in, like, like anything lemon or lime or iced tea. Like even I mean I'll have it, but I'd rather not. You know I don't want lemon. Like I need to get a fish sandwich that has lemon. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I just, <laughs> it just popped in my head. Oh. <laughs> You're talking yeah, about beers like I need a fish well, sandwich. You know how, like your fish, your, your, your fish dinner comes with a lemon? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. that's why. Mm. Keep up, guys. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear about mama tomato, baby tomato, and, and, and papa tomato? No. They're walking down the road, and baby tomato kept lagging behind. They're like, come on, catch up, catch up. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Is that a dad joke? I don't know what the fuck's going on here. I'm all over the place. Yeah, you are. It's a barley. You trying to flex your guns or no, something? No, it's a barley. I'm itching my neck. Oh, it's oh, you can barley. You can reach it. Yeah, I can touch it, Roman. Can you touch your shoulders? No, no, me neither. Can't touch your shoulders. That's why I go see Adam all the time. I, yeah, I got no. Oh, I, that's all I got. Who oh. can touch their shoulders? What American can touch their shoulders? <laughs> Plenty. Huh? <laughs> can't do it. You get in there, huh? I don't have big muscles like you do. I do have. I got big shoulders and short hands. I'm built like Tyson. <laughs> oh, speaking of Tyson. What? This is fucked up. This thing's going all over the place. Tyson Foods. Did you hear about that? No. They laid off 1,200 workers. Wow. And they replaced them with illegals. What? Yeah. So now people like are boycotting Tyson Foods. And I didn't realize how big Tyson Foods is. Mm-hmm. There's like, you know, Ballpark, Franks, all these people. There's probably like 20 businesses they own. And people are starting to boycott them now. They laid off 12 people. 1,200. 1,200 to hire illegal. Mm-hmm. Were they trying? Were they offered like a bonus or something? Yeah, bone us. That's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's like a thing now. So I don't really know. It's not fair for those people who've been fucking working there all this time. It's not fair for legal Americans. It doesn't yeah. matter if you're worried yeah. about it. You just, you know. We talked about this, you know, I mean. Everybody should be welcome to come, but go through the process. Mm-hmm. You know, there's got to be, there's got to be a process. Wait, otherwise, I don't, we don't know who's coming in. Were you born here? No. Oh, fuck, I'm the minority. <laughs> yeah. Man. Ah. Shit. You, you know what you have to do? I don't. I'm scared. Go to Mexico and cross the border back in. Why can't I go to Armenia? You can't walk across the border from Armenia here. I can't walk across the border of Mexico from here. Yes, you can. No, I have to go to fucking like. Yeah. Texas or something like that from New York. No, I said go to Mexico oh, okay. and, and you, cross the border. You did say that. I was trying to get you on that. <laughs> so, but there is a problem with Armenia also. What's going on there? Um, so where's Slo- Slovenia, Slovakia, Slovakia? Uh, that's Eastern, that's Western Russia, Eastern Europe. So there's some sort of thing going on there. Sorry, Carlos. There's some other thing going on there too that's... um. Maybe some sort of war annexation sort of thing. I'm not really sure. That's kind of like small news compared to all the other bullshit we got going on. Well, I know there's I a lot know of if you shit. Were aware of it. There's a lot of shit going on around the whole world. Yeah, but uh, there was like Georgia and Armenia were fighting each other. Um, you know, you have Ukraine. You have uh, is it Haiti. Oh, yeah, the Haitian guys. Yeah. I mean, there's a the people eating Haitians. You hear that? Taking over. Yeah. They're like cannibals. No, no, we're talking about political shit. No, but there's like a Haitian group, you know, these migrant caravans coming up from South America. Now there's this big thing of, so we have this person in power or someone we sponsor as the U.S. as the Haitian president. There's all kinds of crime and violence and all this other fucking corruption. But now there's this big Haitian gang that's supposed to be coming to New York and they're calling them uh, cannibals. They're eating people. This gang is eating people. What? Yeah. I don't make this I mean, shit up, man. You, you may gonna, think that I make a lot of shit up, and I do, but not this. I mean, I was going to talk about how <laughs> gangs are taking over the the country, and they want and their current uh, president resigning. Is the president or like a? Well, he's whoever we're supporting, and the guy has just resigned. Yeah, yeah, he's resigning to to pass the power to is it the captain barbecue barbecue, right? Yeah. Is this barbecue? barbecue? Is, yeah. Is really? Maybe that's barbecue. what it is. He's barbecuing people and they're fucking, excuse me, eating them. Mm. Um, but yeah, like 
that shit's going on. You got uh, war at in Red Sea. That shit's going on. So the Houthis, 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 how, what do you want to call them? Houthis. Yeah, they got a fucking hypersonic missile now. Probably through Turkey or something. <laughs> well, Turkey or should, Iran. Yeah, yeah. Iran. But that's a game changer for that area. So that's you know, I don't know how they're going to defend that. So you were in the military. What branch were you in? Army. The only branch. No, oh, wait, no, wait, no. wait, like, why was there a pause and there's an exhale? Like, I'm like, fuck, man, did if I say I ever something? ever forget anything about his military history, he's going to give me so much shit. Right, but that's you. Yeah. <laughs> so when you asked, I was like, oh, I cringed a little. Do you remember the, the second podcast that we had um, when Craig and I were here? Yeah. We did like the whole 20 minute spiel. Yeah, I remember. I was just, I was clarifying, make sure you remembered. I, I want to make sure there's no. Yeah, you we were making sure he remembers what branch. Right, is. so I just want to make sure. Fun, yeah, that um, makes sense. Interesting uh, thing about the uh, when I was in the army, uh, two times um, in '94 before I got to Fort Bragg, the 82nd was supposed to be deployed to Haiti, and mm. they call it the Haiti 180 because uh, my battalion was actually on the planes, ready to jump into Haiti as as a show of force, and then they recalled as last minute they recalled the planes back. Uh, I don't know if, like, Carter went over and, like, worked some uh, diplomacy and, and everything mm-hmm. got squared away and uh, 82nd came back. And then in 96, when I was – or 96 or 97, when I was in, once again, we were supposed to go to Haiti and do, like, a show of force, like, jump in again. And um, so it just seems like Haiti is always just but yeah, something's always going up. I'm not familiar with their economy. I mean, I, yeah. I realize it's not ours, but – um, the eighty second airborne. We just learned something about them in New Orleans. Remember, remember this? Oh, you went to the museum, or yeah, yeah, at the World War II museum. Uh, what was it about the eighty second? So, yeah, we can we can kind of it was work around the tour this, we but did, it was right? it was basically based out of somewhere that's not here. So we had this. Uh, my wife calls him a docent, like the tour guide, mm-hmm. and they were talking about this thing now. The eighty second airborne or whatever was here and here and here and all these places and. My wife asked, well, did they relocate? She's like, that's funny. Yes, yes, they did. But I can't remember where they relocated to. She's like, you know, New York. And the lady couldn't pinpoint. She's like, that's where it is. And then that's how you kind of, you know, she's like, so that's where you guys are from. That's how she knew. Like, you know, we got talking about that. But it was not originally in New York. The 82nd. Are you talking about Tenth Mountain? Yes. (laughs) See, I was just checking. I was was just just checking up on you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, You passed the test. Okay. (laughs) Good job, Carlos. (laughs) <laughs> now, Wait, yeah, was, so was there an 82nd Airborne? So 82nd, uh, Do, it was transferred. They're out of Fort Bragg, but did they transfer from somewhere else previously? Um, maybe not in New York. As far as I know, like they've always been in North Carolina. So it was 10th Mountain Division. 10th Mountain, yeah, 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 I think that's what I was talking about. Like they did eventually move up to Fort uh, Fort Drum, yep. Watertown. Yeah, uh, I completely fucked that up, yeah. but I knew something <laughs> happened. Someone yeah. transferred. That's right. Yeah. Mm. But Carlos has a a really cool opportunity to do something. The the D D day tour. So. Oh yeah, so um, I just found out from a buddy of mine that I was uh, uh, that I served with. It's called a Liberty Liberty Jump, and uh, once a year they it's for active duty veterans. Uh, I think even like civilians can pay to they get trained up. I think you have to go to Texas for like a couple of weeks. You get trained up or requalified if you're a former uh, paratrooper, and then they send you over to. Normandy, and you jump on in 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 a, in a original uh, DC really uh, whatever DC ten DC three yeah. whatever, and you jump into uh, Normandy, and they take you through the town um, that the eighty second and one hundred first uh, liberated during World War Two, and you were like so you pay like X amount of money, and it includes like the uniform, so you wear like the you get to keep that you keep it yeah nice. I mean you wear the traditional. Mm. Um, Uniform that that, that uh, our soldiers wore when they mm-hmm. when they jumped into uh, Normandy. Man, I, it's, how cool is that? That would be cool. It's and, cool, but like, I mean, no one no one that did it is obviously gonna be able to do it. But like, some people I'd imagine are like the bad memories. You know, my my family have heard about these stories oh, and stuff. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I've seen it'd be photos, cool to do, I guess. But I've seen like photos of, of like like actual legit former World War Two uh, paratroopers. In like their 80s or 90s? But I think they're assisted. I think they do like a tandem type jump oh. where they jump with somebody else. But I'm just surprised. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that 
if they, if it's what they want to do, they get to do. Yeah. But I would imagine, like, I mean, you, there's a ton of carnage, like like Saving Private Ryan. You see oh, that? Yeah, like, I mean, yeah. um, I can't imagine living through that. You know, I couldn't either. It's, it's more of a of an experience. Yeah. Of like imagining that that time. And you're landing into Normandy, yep. and you said they take you through the town. Yeah, you go through a town. So it's part of like, um, so it's it's just re- it's a history, remembering the moments, people yeah. who gave their lives, and think of it as a tour through a museum. Yeah, but this is a unique tour. But I'm basically. saying, a- as someone that has already been through that, like, I don't imagine, I, I can't, I can't imagine how that would feel. I wonder if, if it's like for like a like a former World War II vet. Kind of like closing that door and finally saying, "Could be sure I'm okay with that." Yep. Mm-hmm. And I also want to visit some of my friends that passed away that are still buried. Yep. Uh, in yeah, the some sort of closure or something. Yeah. yeah, and that's okay. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not questioning if you want to do it or not. I'm fine with all of it. I just, I just don't know emotionally what that would be like. Yeah, it, uh, and I can't know. You know, yeah. it's got to be. Yeah. It, yeah. Well, I think if it's emotionally too difficult for something, they're just not going to do it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, for others, like yep. like you said, it's a closure, or or they want to maybe those people who were not deployed, but their friends were, yeah, and, yeah. and maybe they lost their life, sure. and, yep. and they want to yep. kind of go and visit that place, or they lost a brother or, or but a father enter or something it through like yeah. as a paratrooper exactly. and just yeah. have that that emotional. Yeah. Like some people could probably land a yep. bit and would be in tears. What's that? What's that feel like? Do you know? I mean, it's like five grand or. Four hundred bucks, like two, two grand, yeah. eighteen hundred, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and plus think, you travel to Texas. Yeah, plus travel. Yeah, and you're in your. I mean, there's some camaraderie there. Maybe you get to hear stories from people. Yeah, exactly. That, you know, my uncle, did, well, your uncle is friends yeah. with my uncle. I mean, I, I get all of it. Or how many veterans are there? You can hear stories. Excuse me, stories from them. Yeah. You know, I when I was a kid, I used to love sitting down. Like, if my grandpa was talking about, uh, like stories, when he was in the war. Uh, I I loved it. Yep. I was a kid. Yep. He started telling me stories about you know him serving in the military during World War II. I stopped everything. Yeah, uh, and I I remember just sitting, loving listening yeah. to those it's stories. It's important to keep that going. Yeah. It's going to be forgotten at some point. Yeah. You know. Um, but yeah, I, that's that. And you said that they still have a. Wasn't there like a, a paratrooper who got stuck on the church? Yeah, and uh. There's a couple uh, old black and white movies. That, um, I want to say like Longest Day with uh, Robert Redford and, and there's something oh, yeah. else. Um, and th- th- they'll show, um, I think it was the 82nd Paratrooper, that he landed on the on the steeple. Mm. and His parachute? Yeah, his parachute and he was hanging there. And, and I want to say I think that they still have something there uh, portraying what happened. Uh, yeah. I mean, I remember going to Gettysburg and they like you go through these places and there's like, uh, you know, you go to Gettysburg – you were this. We didn't do this to her, but uh, you kind of go through, and, and there's like a a house, and oh look at there's the hole from the cannonball, mm. and the cannonball's still there. I'm like, mm, remember what the? Mm, I don't think that's the original cannonball. Gettysburg. When I was leaning on the tree, right, right. he goes, <laughs> he goes, gentleman in the pink shirt leaning on the tree. I was like, oh, what? Yeah. He goes, that's the original tree from during the the battle. What, what, what do they call those? Le- not legacy trees um, or some history trees or something. Uh, yeah, I'm not trying to put you in a spot. I forget, but there's a name for them. But people have gone through and cut remember. down all these original trees oh, man. to use for their own shit. Like, yeah, they would like selfish yeah, fucks. Cut it yeah. to make like a walking stick out of it. But but there's not too many trees left. Yeah. From... But that one general guy got fucking shot like fucking 20 feet yeah, away. Yeah, where, where I was leaning on the tree, yeah. it was like a stump from an old tree. And it was, yeah, 40, 50 feet away. He's like, that's where that general got shot. By a sniper back then. Jesus. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, that was. That was yeah. cool. Sorry, guys. We're we're kind of going off on all these tangents. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, okay. <laughs> but I, I just remember you mentioned that, that experience, yeah. the opportunity to do that. Um, and that's... Yeah, I, I, I would, I would love to do that. People should know yeah. that. You, yeah, you, you, you cannot do that anymore? No. So um, so I got online. I checked. Um, look up Liberty Jump. I, I believe, like, I definitely know people that, that, that served active duty. And I want to say... Even civilians can, um, as long as you like, you know, you, you go through like the like the. Well, what's that recertification process like? It's like a day or like an hour no, I or like. A, I want to say two or three weeks. Oh, so you'd have to take like a month off from your job yeah. or something? Okay. Yeah. Two weeks, you said. Two or three weeks, I want to say. Yeah, and it's like. 
somewhere in Texas. If, if you're a civilian and you go through that process and you get your certification, is that applicable to skydiving? Certification? No, because that's, that's, that's totally that's different. Because yeah, like, we, like what we did was like a static line. So it's called um, Liberty Jump Team. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's. I mean, if it's a, uh, if it's something someone wants to do, then for sure, you know, um, it's something available. But I don't know that. Um, I mean, I've never jumped out of a plane, so I really wouldn't know what that's like. I would do it, but I just don't want to be a poser. Like, I don't want to be a, like. How would that? Well, a poser? How? If you I, pay I never to served, do it, I never served in the military. Well, there might be a lot of people that never no. served in the military. You're not doing it because you served. You're doing it to get the experience. You know, I guess. I think it's a great way for people that that. I mean, I know the funds will support. Yeah, you know, and also just like learning, like keeping keeping the memory of what Mm -hmm. happened. You know, because I mean, we're going so nineteen forty what forty five. Yeah, you're going ninety years now. Yeah, I mean, it's it's getting close to almost or eighty years, years, eighty years. Yeah, and it's 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 a great great way to to show people like what grandparents or grandparents did, you know, what they went through. Yeah, the photo on their website is a lot of veterans. A lot of veterans, right? Yeah. yeah. But it, is there a, is there um, like a section for like civilians who? It's not. Uh, I don't want to waste time looking for it. But if I find it, I will add a link in the description. Did you hear about this? You know, so Navalny. The I'm not trying to correlate anything with the U.S. versus Russia, but Navalny. You know, Putin's. Opposition mm-hmm. got killed. You know, they say it was poison, whatever it was. But there's this other guy that's against the UK, Ukraine war. He's like uh, 72 years old, whatever this guy is. Some sort of uh, movement he started. So now Russia has, you know, because they're, they're going to quash anybody that is against them. So now they detain this guy and they make him sign a piece of paper saying he will participate and join whatever armed forces for Russia and fight against the Ukraine as a 72 year old. Jesus. And if you don't sign it, now you got to go to jail. Well, the guy's obviously not going to sign it because 72 now he's in jail. Well, for two years. Well, Russia has been taking prisoners and putting them on the mm-hmm. front line. Right. So he can get arrested and then they'll put him in the front line. But, but this, but this is what they're doing. Like they're just, they, they, they work around a way to make you fucking succumb and, and, and conform to what they need you to do. Like, which is why Putin will be in power for 36 years if he gets reelected, which he's probably going to get 90% of the vote because there's no one else fucking left. That's what, uh, communism and dictatorship does. Yep. I think, uh, I think who's the guy? Stalin. I think Stalin was in power twenty nine years. So he's now, the only Russian president that has the record of being the longest. Who? Stalin. Uh, Stalin. Yeah, Stalin. But then it will be it will be Putin, and I think Putin's the only president to never have a fucking debate. <laughs> he's never had to compete. He, in nobody debate. has lived to that point because no one wants to argue with a fucking taxi driver. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's what he was, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. he he used to work on the. He was um, either KGB or intelligence officer during when the Berlin Wall was yeah. still up, and uh, when it was knocked down, he was very upset. Yeah. And uh, I believe he, after that, he got out of military. He was the taxi driver. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Huh? Very fruitful. But, uh, <laughs> hmm. So this beer. <laughs> Making a rounds geopolitics and then back to back to beer. Crazy, crazy stuff. That's right. <laughs> I think people probably expect that from us. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give this beer um, four grading. Yeah. Did you see the dogs on here? I did. That's like an extra bonus point, right? What half yeah. point? Yeah. <laughs> what are these dogs called? Where are they? They they're hound breed breed. Looks like hot dogs. Like a- Dachshund, right? Or Dotson, yeah. Dotson? Yeah, yeah. Hot Dotson? Hot dogs. That's what they call it. Wait, is is Dot isn't Dotson like oh, yeah, a car d- brand? Dash yeah, hound. Dash hound. Dash hound. Dotson. Dotson. Which is a car brand? That's what they drive in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my my aunt still has like her original nineteen like seventy eight Dotson. It's probably got like fucking twenty thousand miles on it. You know who owns Dotson? <laughs> who? Nissan. Nissan, yeah. Nissan. Yeah. yeah. 
I don't even know if it's even a <laughs> business. Like Dotson, I don't know if they're even around, right? Like they Pontiac. Are. They are. Oh, yeah? They still they still are sold in like Russia. Mm. I think my dad's, dad might have Dotson. Mm-hmm. That sounds like the Russian, uh, what's that car? Um, you're telling me about the, like everyone in Russia has? Lada. Lada. <laughs> what is that? Lada or um, uh, Volga. Volga. I think, yeah. Volva? No, <laughs> not Volvo. That's Swedish. <laughs> no, Volva. That's your not, Volvo is sweet. a name. Volvo is a name. Volvo. Volvo, Volvo is, the... is short for Vladimir. Vladimir. No, you're saying Volvo. No, he's... I said Volvo car. I'm saying Volvo. Volvo is part of the female reproductive system. Right. <laughs> but he said Volvo, which is a short name for Vladimir. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of V's going yeah, on here. Yeah, it's all, it's all about the V. I V? I don't know. No, but JJ. It's a tough one. Sorry. All right. So, would you rather, Carlos? Would you rather? Would you rather Carlos or? <laughs> would you rather lick a toilet brush or a man's ass crack? Toilet brush. Would you rather lick a toilet brush or? Or underneath a toilet seat. I am very concerned. This is taking so long to think about. It's just disgusting. <laughs> Why do you always bring up these gross things? Because it's what we do here. That's true. Yeah. Oh God. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the um, underneath a toilet seat. How about you, Roman? Toilet seat or toilet brush? Toilet brush, because it can be. You, uh, oh. I guess it depends on the condition You're of the toilet fuck. brush. No, the toilet brush got like shit on. Depends like, on the because maybe it was like a rinse stuff, and, and I can like lick the cleaner part. Well, <laughs> maybe everything. Maybe the toilet seat was brand new, and maybe the brush is new, but they're not. That's true. I mean, I don't want. So I would have to look and see which one looks the worst. No, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> rim job that toilet seat. Oh, <laughs> I have oh, to. You just I, went all out. Well, man. I don't know what's stuck to the toilet brush. Licking. And you just went, I'm going to rim job. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Viking, <laughs> Vikings do that. Escalated. We don't half-ass anything. Yeah. Vikings. <laughs> no, we full-ass the toilet seat. <laughs> <laughs> but the brush has got to be like, I don't want it to scratch my tongue or something. You know, I had an idea. I had an idea for uh, OnlyFans page. Uh-huh. So um, you sell photos of your asshole. Are you talking about me or like anybody? Uh, just anybody. Okay. You sell photos of your asshole. And for an additional fee, they they blow on it, and then you make it sound like a balloon popped. <laughs> <laughs> like helium? And then afterwards, you give a high, high-pitched that's voice? That's a balloon, right? <laughs> that's a balloon knot. <laughs> you can do all kinds of things. Looks like a chocolate starfish. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of things oh, you can God. do with this you thing. Can, you can do, like, you can dress up your assholes in different yeah. things. Then there's some weirdos that'll fucking pay for that too. Oh, I'm sure. We can yes. have bruising buttholes. <laughs> we can do bruising bruising balls. There was this video I saw where the girl would secretly take photos of her mom's feet and sell them on only. She probably made. She made balls, a lot right? of money, yeah. so she bought her mom a Mercedes, and her mom's like, "How can you afford this?" And she's like, "All right, mom, your feet paid for it." I'm gonna tell you this, but don't get mad at me. I've been secretly taking photos of your feet and selling them online. She's like, so she got really mad. And then she was like, wait, that's how you bought the Mercedes? She's like, yeah. And then she was like, interesting. <laughs> I don't understand feet thing. I don't get it's that. A, what is that about? Uh, what does it go? Footish? Fetish. Yeah, fetish. Footish. Yeah. footish. footish. <laughs> <laughs> you got a footish. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, a foot fetish is called a fetish. So, so did uh, did Roman ever tell you that I, I have a like an ongoing book? I'm calling it Romanisms. Like every, every, do you have it all written down? Oh yeah, yeah. like every weird thing that he says. Put footage in there. Down. I'm looking at volume volume three. <laughs> a footish. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. That footage. could be that could be a, a thing. thing. Yeah. A thing. Hashtag footish. It's uh, um, 
Uh, <laughs> what else I was going to say? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I forgot. Damn it. Yeah, that's that. All right. So what would you say? Four? I didn't grade this I one yet. I said four. Yeah. I'm going to be at a... Uh, I'm going to say four and a quarter. Yeah, I'm not I'm not that high. I'm going to say three, seven, five. I mean, I like it. It's just, it's just you know, different, but we've had many other things here, so... Um, and and to be honest, we're gonna we're, once we get shitty beers, we'll tell people. But we just haven't had shitty beers like that. That fucking first beer we had. You want to bring it out? I, I can bring it out, but that, I mean that is <laughs> don't bring it out. We'll, we'll, uh, right, you know, people got to tune in next episode. We'll bring it out. Yeah, if, it if, is if that is sub- the shittiest beer I've ever had. If in my you life. subscribe on Patreon, we'll tell you. Yeah. By the way, five dollars a month Patreon. All the funds go back into the podcast, uh, and it pays for equipment. Uh, travel to breweries, interviews, and things like that. So, uh, please check us out. It's a it's paid content. Uh, it's not on YouTube and stuff like that. Just five bucks a month. Mm-hmm. Uh, your your help is really appreciated. And you help but, support uh, us with. Uh, and then we'll tell you what the shitty beer is. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, 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 that is it is really probably some of the worst beer I've ever had in my life. It was, it was it's bad. pretty disgusting. It was bad. Yeah, Ugh, I can't even. So if you had to lick a toilet brush or Frank's foot, Roman, what would you do? A toilet brush or your foot? <laughs> Whose foot would you lick? You, daddy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. You're going to lick my fucking I have toe. footish. <laughs> you, know, you, you, have a, you have a Frank footish. <laughs> That'd be my porn name. Frank. Do you, do you know about you, daddies? I'd be Frank Footer if I was so a porn star. Be Frank one left? Yeah, one left. All right. I'd be Frank Footer if I was a porn star. Frank Footer? Frank Footer. Not Frank Furter. Frank Footer. <laughs> okay. 12-inch 12, 12 dick. In case you didn't know, Carlos, 12-inch. I just fold in half. <laughs> <laughs> you know people who talk about a big, their big they dick? They don't really have a big usually, dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's true. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the joke about my dick being in the um, the World Guinness Book Records? The Guinness Book of World Records? Do you remember? I tell you. No. Then the librarian told me to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know sometimes with him. <laughs> I think his CPU was like, you know, yeah, his central processing unit is like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I was trying to come up with some other words, but like, like you know, I couldn't think of anything for CPU. I'm trying to remember if I've ever se- seen Carlos laugh so hard that he cried. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And I've seen you laugh that hard? Yeah. Mm. Like, mainly I feel like you you do like a Romanism. Yeah. After uh, reading your book on the, the toilet. All the stupid shit I say makes you laugh really hard. <laughs> After reading your book on the toilet. When he has a bad day, yeah. he opens Romanism <laughs> Volume 2. <laughs> and then he laughs his ass off. Footish. There was one thing, like, we were, like, on the phone one day, and, like, he said something, like, we were both, like, dying laughing. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I don't my driveway dogs in, in the house barking. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> I say so much stupid shit. I don't really remember. That's okay. That is okay. All right. <clears throat> Rap- oh, do you want to mention um, a recent event we went to? It's called Fire and Ice. Have you ever been to that? No. So you never Fire- invite me to these things, Roman. I'm sorry. What the hell? Fire and Ice is hosted by Prison City. Okay. In Auburn. And um, which one? The uh, that the main one or the because uh, they have a newer one, the like the farm the, one, the brewery. Their main their main facility. Okay. Uh, we have like the silo. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then next to the yeah, silo, yeah. they have another building. Okay. So that's where it's held. And um, so a lot of breweries go there, and there's food trucks and live bands. It was a pretty cool event. I've never been. It was my first time. And, yeah, mine uh, too. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a good time. Shitty weather, but it was good stuff. They, uh, there's they, like 30 breweries, I think. They stack up ice blocks, and then in the middle of it, uh, they set fire. And the fire burns till the the, the thing melts and collapses. So but they have like like uh, ice um, ice hockey. 
made, I, I made not like air hockey yeah. table. <laughs> it's like a like a reverse. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like a fucking. <laughs> That's how feel you like, play. Make it like you feel like someone different. <laughs> But it was they they like a ski ball table like the ski ball out, out of made, ice made out of ice like, yeah they had like a, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and they had like they had a luge <laughs> they had a luge I did a shot of uh, I think it was Jack Daniels um, Jack Fire off of the, this little ice luge but they had an ice chair ice chair so it was all this and they had like a some lady on stilts for ice and some other little lady fire was fire, fire was on stilts ice was okay. Not on stilts, but it was just like a lot of ice sculptures. It's really cool shit, yeah. you know. Very fun, and then at the at the end of the event, they do fireworks. Oh, cool! Yeah, but so when we were there, you meet all these people and and all these breweries, and we met someone from that. I think it was a head brewer from Community Beer Works, mm. and um, I forget her name right now. But we were talking about Let's Go Pills, which is a the pills where they make you know instead of the Bills Buffalo Bills, yep. it's pills. So um, it was really good, and she was excited to to um. She asked for feedback about what we thought about it, and we liked all that stuff. So, um, again, I forget her name, but thanks again for um, for talking to us. So, um, shout out to Community Beer Works, and um, it was tough to stop and chat with anyone because people were getting mad, and I get it. I mean, and sometimes we we don't mean to take up too much of uh, their time, but that's the only time we have an opportunity to to at least you know ask a question or find out if they're interested in doing interviews and things like that. So, But we're talking about like a, a minute and a half, not like 15 yeah. minutes. Like some people are pretty impatient. Like, yeah, they're like, get a beer and move on. Like, fucking relax, buddy. Too far. I'm like, fucking chill, man. Yeah. We got like, I mean, literally, you got like another fucking four hours here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's going to be okay, but. Go mingle a little yeah. bit or something. But um, yeah, so thanks to them. And then uh, stickers are from the box you ordered? Yeah, so I got a, uh, a box of, um, it was a Valentine's. Uh, promotion from Drink and White Craft. So this was just speaking of promotions. Um, if you go on drinknycraft.com and you use um, discount code Bruise and Banter, you get 10% off. Mm-hmm. So if you're in New York State and you want to order some beer from Drink New York Craft, don't forget to use the uh, Bruise and Banter at checkout. You get 10% off. Yep. So thank, thanks to you guys uh, for offering that to our listeners. So, you want to add anything? I do not. Any last words, Carlos? No. Nope. Good to go. You having fun? <laughs> He's still decompress. I'm, I'm decompressing. I'll, yeah. Like, uh, we, we like having you here, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Carlos, trip number two or visit number two? Visit number yeah. two. Yeah. Hopefully, um, did I tell you uh, I signed up for the uh, Marine Corps Marathon in October? You talked about it. Yeah, you signed so, up. Already. Yeah. So, uh, oh, ho- that's cool. Hopefully, um, Afterwards, I'm going to hit some breweries like in Virginia, D.C. area. Nice. Wait, is that there. allowed? Like being the Army guy that I almost fucking fucked up on? Now you're going to be in a mar- Marine thing? Like, oh, no. Are you going to wear your Army shirt? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. <laughs> I don't know if this is against the law or like something's going to come out. Or... <laughs> you know they're going to be running after like dogs after Oh, yeah, meat. dude. It's going to be a bunch of freaking devil dogs chasing the old, <laughs> old fat guy, old 49-year-old. But... They're going to be like, they're going to see that Army shirt. It's like a hungry dog seeing yeah, a steak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but it's, it's a cool race because it, it's open to like all all branches. Like any anybody can run yeah. it, but it, it's it, they call it the Marine Corps Marathon, but a lot of like military from – all, all, all the branches. That's really cool. And that's yeah. in October? It's on, uh, yep, October. So you know, like Hungry Dog, Chase a Steak, or like <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell and McDonald's or something. <laughs> I, can, I can't <laughs> prom- change your name to Rosie McDonald's. I can't promise you, but if I, I can, I'd love to go and see it. That'd be cool. Uh, if not, uh, Craig will be in Chicago doing uh, the Chicago Marathon. Oh, at the October. same time? Uh, not the same date, but close. both in October, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I'm not going to go see Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So Craig, Craig, so Craig and Carlos, people don't know they're they're they'll be on our Patreon. They were they were a um... no. We're releasing their their interview on YouTube. Oh, it's not on Patreon. The, no, that's the one we we talked about. It's going to go on YouTube. Okay, so you'll see that with Craig and Carlos. That one special special content, not paid. You know, it'll be on YouTube. But uh, no, Craig Craig's a nice guy. I'm just busting his balls. Uh, but I know Carlos longer and. Um, Nothing against Craig. Yeah. No, we appreciate it. And, you know, thanks again for being here. Yeah, thanks for I the love beer. Thanks here. for the swag. And I love talking about the beers that I, yeah. that I, that I get to taste uh, when I'm out of town. And we'll have to have Craig come back, too. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I'm going to tell Craig, 
if he shows up empty handed, I'm like, hey man, Carlos brought us fucking beer right, fuck, and buddy? swag. Swag, yeah. he's got some or, or strippers. Or you just strippers. show up, you don't even subscribe, nothing. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, fuck. He, do you think he's gonna get nervous? No, no, we, no. no. It's all Trump. Can he take ball busting? Does what? He can he take ball busting? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's all okay because it's all wiped out. Because he's going to find out. He's a first responder, so Craig, that, you're that next. Nullif- that nullifies all of it. So. Craig's next victim. All right, good. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you again. Uh, please follow us on all social media. Um, YouTube, subscribe on YouTube. That's free, obviously. And uh, please subscribe on Patreon. Five bucks a month. We appreciate your donations. It supports our our podcast and 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 helps us uh, create more content for for our followers. So. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Carlos. Thank yes, you for thank the you very beers. Much. Thank you for the, these shirts. They're they're awesome, and I'm looking forward to doing a next trip to Puerto Rico. With thank you. you for dealing with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. All right, thank, you. thank you. Bye. Hey, Hopheads. Frank here. And Roman. Welcome to Brews and Banton, the podcast where we sip and spill the funniest stories over a cold one. We're not just brewing laughs and comedy. We also discuss life stories and current events in every episode. Follow the frolic on our socials, where we brew up more than just banter. Check out linktree forward slash brews and banter for all the goods. And guess what? We've got a VIP section. Join our Patreon for exclusive content, behind the scenes brew secrets, and maybe even a blooper reel or two. Subscribe, laugh, and unlock the full brews and banter experience. Because life is too short for bad beer and boring stories. Cheers. Cheers.